I don't want to chain drill it. Actually, no, hold on, hold on a minute, hold on. Where is my, hold on. Is the mount holes lined up or do you have to drill new ones? Mount holes line up. So what we're doing here is I have this piece. This piece is being bolted in right there. We already confirmed that those mount holes mount up. What we're doing is this piece that is in between, we're cutting this out. Why am I doing this? Uh, airflow to the radiator. This piece replaces this, is what's happening. Oh no, Lance, all, all the shit that's in boxes is just stuff. It's not things to decorate, it's just stuff. Oh, oh, Lance, also, I got something to show you. Hold on. This is something specifically for Lance, because he'll remember it. It won't mean anything to anybody else. See, now I gotta, I gotta try to hide it from the camera. Hold on. You gotta hide it from the camera so Lance can't see it until I can, it, can show it. Okay, so Lance, you might remember this. <laughs> For those that have no idea the significance of this thing, this is the torque wrench that I bought back in, oh God, what was it, 2006, 2007? This is the two and one eighth inch socket required to remove super nut. And for those that have no idea what super nut is, it is the one singular nut that is torqued to 480 foot pounds of torque that hold the flywheel of an RX-7 onto its eccentric shaft. This is the one tool we had to remove that thing. Giant, giant electric torque wrench. It's huge. Oh man. All right. The axle nut is giant too. Yeah, just it just not it's not torqued to 480 foot pounds of torque <laughs> usually. Oh man. I got only metric stuff. I think I I want to say super nut is also metric, but that just happens to be that one size that shares between the two. Yeah. Super nut is also known as the breaker of breaker bars. It's, it's, it, it you got to remember, like, it's part of the rotating assembly of the, uh, of the motor. So you have to, one, freeze it somehow, and then also break it free. It, yeah, it was, yeah. Someone might need to look at two and one eighth inch and see what that is in metric, because I think it's really, really close to something. I just don't remember what it was. And Cyber Dummy, doing pretty good. We're just, we've already got the radiator out. It's sitting behind the car. I'm gonna have to take it to the shop to have the guy weld the thing back on later. Um, but I'm just kind of doing other little things now, and I'm, we're gonna be getting prepped to do the, uh, the timing belt here in a bit too.
Yeah, I think, I think it ended up being 54 millimeter, yeah. It was just, again, we, we lived in North Carolina at the time, so we were kind of limited to what they had available at the, um, at the shop too, what we could buy. No, it is definitely not small. Oh, there's another nut back there. There's that piece that is now gone. What I need to do now though 